I'm Suzanne Gaylor, and we're coming to you from Palm Beach State University and Belcanto Studios in Palm Beach. And I'm with Zaria Modest. She's soon to be a graduate student at the University of Miami, and we're so proud of her. Yay, hooray. <laughs> so the goal of our exercises today are gentle, high, light warm-ups that will help you to sing beautiful, sometimes soft, high notes that will break people's hearts. And so our first one, we're going to start in the lower register. We're going to have a, a nice support to the lower register. And then we're going to sing super light on the second two notes. So we're going to be doing ba rapid spinning in the sound. So we're going to try some lip trills on, on the same pattern. Okay, great. So now we're going to try Baui. We live near the ocean here. So we're going to be thinking about sparkling, beautiful water in the sunshine. I know imagery, so we're going to try All right, and another way to think about these upper tones might even be falsetto, otherwise known as false voice or um, it doesn't even matter if we're kind of like a pip squeak at the bottom at the top of the high note and then it can develop um, but the point is we're just kind of trying to approach it with air so let's try lip drill again good now bow -wee. Remember, the theme of the day is light, light high notes. All right, now we're going to change it out to octaves. All right, now you probably won't want to hear me say this, but you can project less. So this is like reverse psychology. We're actually warming up in a way that you could do an opera concert or recital, but we're getting there very gradually. So let's try this one, Baui. All right, I love that one. And those were tense. Now we're gonna go on to some octaves. We're going to start them with lip trills, and then we're going to try something I call a ghost sound. So we're going to go. Good. And then. And sliding is perfectly fine. we're gradually waking up the high notes. So we're going to take uh, lip trills a little higher. Great. And ghostly sounds. Good. And make sure you have plenty of air. Lip trills. Good, time for some ghosts. Okay, now what we're going to do to get 
get an even better approach to the high is we're just going to kind of think of like putty face, fish mouth. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, reduce tension, even in the mouth, no wide smiles, even though we are in a good mood, but um, yeah, relaxation, relaxation of the throat, the jaw, our smiling muscles, everything. The only thing that really has a lot of energy is the abdomen. Okay. So, okay, so let's try the lip trolls again. Good, now ooh with a nice uh, relaxed embouchure. That's a slide. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, that's okay because we're trying to carry that air up there, up and mm -hmm. down. And so, you know, this is like a new thing because classical singers were, were always thinking of that domed apple orange yawn position. And we mm -hmm. still are, and you can still have it. It's just that we're, we're also thinking it's a little bit like covering. We're just covering softly and on, on a falsetto. On a lip trill or on the ooh still? Um, let's try ooh, okay? Okay, that's good, but we're gonna need a lot more air. And I hate to use the term projection. I would rather use the term spin in this instance mm -hmm. because otherwise we're gonna be like so we're trying not to do that today. We're trying to be really gentle with ourselves. Okay. Let me do a loop trill just so I can. Sure, let's do that. repeating it is that I want it to go just a little higher and um, sometimes it feels like it's just a tad under the pitch mm -hmm. and so it's going to take more abdominal support, okay. a bigger breath when you breathe, more expansion in the rib cage, more expansion in the back, back breathing and um, more of a kind of, I don't want to say tension, but like an energy in the abdomen. Okay. So one, one amazing thing that you just did is when you did the lip trills, we definitely know that your air is there. We're just trying to engage it more. Mm -hmm. And so um, if we can keep those lips trilling, they're much more bulky uh, than our gentle vocal cords. So we know you have it. You just need to engage it. Mm -hmm. So um, let's try lip trill first. power on the top okay so you can we're tired of this gentle thing I just want you to power it out now there you are yeah so there's upsides and downsides to gentle and so we have to we still have to empower these notes to spin forward so let's try it on ooh typical classical singer concepts like covering, space, yawn, you can combine that with what we're doing and, and, and we are. All right, we're gonna change it out, relax a little bit. We're gonna try a vocal siren and I think you've done those before, right? Yes. Okay, so your vocal siren is maybe gonna be a little different than mine. We'll wake up the people in our buildings. Uh... So I'll let you be by yourself. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, All right. And 
that's a great way to blend registers and you did and to just kind of explore all through them mm -hmm. all right we're going to do some staccato arpeggios now so we're going to go um <laughs> staccatos as all good queens of the night know is air and so yours are coming out very nicely but you know we're going to continue upwards and so always thinking of um, engaging the abdomen <laughs> good now make sure that air is on the top so it's right in the center of the note <laughs> and light up there. Good. And after you've sung them, just release them into the universe. We'll make them even shorter, okay? getting up there very nice so now we're gonna uh we're just as i said saying hello to these high notes and that's why we're just touching them this is great for the first thing in the morning uh now we're gonna add something to that we're gonna go up the pattern down the pattern up again and then we're gonna sustain the last note so it's much easier to just listen to it than to try to analyze it so we're gonna go even lighter but we're still going to keep the air engaged and still do them in tune and then I want you to start a little more gently on the long note um I mean I don't want to say squeak into it but we're not going to approach it with a full operatic tone we're just kind of gentle with everything today <laughs> Always thinking light spinning. Okay, very nice. And then we're gonna just do one last thing and we'll get into our songs for the day. because we're just experimenting mm -hmm. um, but our key for the day is light gorgeous let's keep it going Okay, 
Okay, very good, very nice. Uh, so we're gonna try an experiment now. I want you to do the same thing, but um, a little bit more with fish face. I want more relaxation to come here. When you're on the high note, you can still have inside of your mouth that lift, lifted, yawny, classical position. Okay. But we're gonna try not to do that classic queen of the night trick, uh, smiling everything. We're just gonna see, do an experiment with uh, relaxing. bell now we're going to do the smile thing and see okay. how it feels to do a, a shelf up there okay everybody has to figure out for themselves what is best for them so here we go well personally i thought the smile was a little more consistent but yeah. i don't know how you felt yeah, it definitely felt more consistent. Maybe, maybe because I feel more comfortable doing it with the smile. We can try and do it with like the relaxed jaw again, just to. Why All right. Not? All right. You want to try one higher? Just keep thinking about that uh, classical position in the mouth. Um, so let's try the great smile experiment. I liked it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it just gives it a nice lift and it just feels when I make that sound, it just feels better when that with that lifted feeling. Yeah. Well, congratulations. That was a really nice high C. So, yeah, good way to warm up for a concert. Um.